In a tweet from Ukrainian Front dated November 3, 2023, we can see the Ukrainian armed forces launching three MGM 140A Atakms missiles at Russian military positions, marking a pivotal moment in the ongoing conflict. The Atakms system allows Ukrainian forces to target and disrupt Russian supply lines and command centers, which could hinder the Russian army's ability to support its operations in the region. Previously, Ukraine is said to have struck a Russian airbase, as reported by Army Recognition on October 21, 2023. The ADAKMS, or Army Tactical Missile System, is a tactical missile developed for the U.S. Army, designed to hit deep targets with high precision. It is an essential component of the modern artillery arsenal, enabling the striking of strategic targets at long range. Nevertheless, Ukraine cannot strike Russian territory with this kind of equipment because the Americans refuse it. This system is distinguished by its ability to be launched from a multiple launch platform, which gives it notable operational flexibility. Once launched, the Atakms can reach targets up to 300 kilometers away, allowing it to cover an extensive area and strike targets beyond the reach of conventional artillery systems. The precision of the Atakms is another major asset. Thanks to its advanced guidance system, it can hit targets with minimal margin of error, which is crucial for limiting collateral damage and increasing the effectiveness of strikes. This precision, combined with its range, makes it a formidable weapon against key infrastructures, troop concentrations, command and control centers, and enemy air defense systems. The Atakms is also designed to be resistant to electronic countermeasures, allowing it to maintain its trajectory even in an environment contested by electronic warfare systems. This ensures that the missile can operate in conditions of jamming and interference, which is often the case in modern theaters of operations where electronic warfare is prevalent. The use of Atakms by Ukraine could lead to a reaction from Russia, both on the battlefield and in diplomatic arenas. It also raises questions about the extent of military aid provided to Ukraine by Western countries and the potential for escalation into a broader conflict. Nevertheless, Russia has not yet reacted to this delivery, which once again crosses the red line drawn by Moscow.